What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be looking at how we can create our own Windows 10 recovery partition now you've seen me make videos on recovery partitions before using the same software and also using other types of software this is the easy BCD software that I'm going to use but I haven't done it for Windows 10 so I thought I'll cover this just so I've made sure I've covered all the uh, avenues for you so let's take a look at how we can uh, go about doing this you're going to need a couple of bits of software here the first bit you're going to need is obviously the Windows 10 uh, media creation tool and you can download that for free here and once you've got that you can keep this onto your desktop just like I've got here I've already downloaded mine the next one you're going to need is easy BCD and uh, you can get that for free as long as you're not a company and you're using it as a home user you just come to their website here click on see plans and the non-commercial uh, use here just hit that and then register your copy and download it okay now once you've got those two items on your desktop they should look like this so the first thing we're going to do is download our ISO for Windows 10 ISO so we're going to right click on this say yes to the user account control so once we've got uh, our Windows 10 setup window open it's just going to populate here let it do its thing we're going to accept the terms and conditions okay so what we want to do here now is you can see it says upgrade this PC now we don't want to do that we want to create an installation media for another PC click next and uh, just here you can see uh, use recommended settings here if you want to or you can take this tick out and select what you want to do uh, whether you want home pro whatever it is okay you can select which version you want uh, so I'm just gonna leave this as is right here and go next and we want the ISO image here we don't want to create a USB you've seen me do that before we just want the ISO so we're going to click next here and this is going to give you the very latest ISO uh, for you so we're going to put this onto our desktop leave it as Windows it doesn't really matter and let that download to your desktop okay so that's the uh, ISO downloaded you can see it on our desktop and now we need to prepare our drive so I'm just going to quickly finish this and close this off and then we can prepare our drive ready for our files okay so now we need to prepare our drive ready for our Windows files so what we're going to do here is we're going to right click on the start button and go to disk management I'm going to pull this down here now once we're in disk management you can see how drive here we've got a 160 gigabyte drive this is a virtual machine but yours may have more and uh, what we're going to do is create a small partition ready for our files so we're going to right click on our C drive and shrink that volume once we've done that we can now create the size that we want I mean 10 gigs should be ample so 10,000 will do that should be ample size as you can see here now what we need to do here is create a new simple volume right click and create a new simple volume and you can assign it a letter and down here you can call it what you want we're going to call ours save recovery something like that then perform a quick format and then click finish okay that's now ready to to use as you can see here so what we need to do now is double click on our ISO file as you can see here just gonna snap that to the side here and now we're gonna right click on the start button and go file Explorer and then click on this PC and you should see your recovery partition go into there and then we're going to snap this to the right hand side of the screen just like so now we're going to copy all these files you can either drag and drop them over if you wish or copy and paste it's entirely up to you we're just going to drag these over just like so okay so that's then files now copied across to our recovery partition now we need to open up our easy BCD 
say yes to the user account control. I'm going to go next. I agree. Next and then install. Pretty straightforward stuff. And then we're going to leave the tick in run. English. Say OK. Now we've got this open. What we want to do here is add a new entry. And inside add a new entry, we want to come down to the bottom part here where it says Win PE. And uh, from here, we want to add a new path in. Now, this path needs to be pointing to our recovery partition that we've just created. We want to click on Sources here and then boot.wim. Click Open, and now you can see uh, this is all set up just fine. We're going to add this entry in. And that's now been successfully added, as you can see here. Now we can edit the boot menu here. Now we can see the boot menu has been given this name here. We can rename this if we want by just double clicking on it. You can call it wherever you like, recovery partition, Windows 10 recovery, whatever. You can call it wherever you like. Uh, the countdown part here, you can change to whatever you like. I'm just going to say five seconds. That will be enough for me. Um, but you can change this to whatever you like. This is the amount of time that the uh, boot menu will be on display. And then we're just going to save those settings. And you can see it's now been successfully, uh, successfully saved. We can now close this off. So now when we reboot our system, let me just show you our file explorer here. When we reboot our system, uh, what's going to happen is it's going to have this drive here with all our files in it so we can easily recover our drive from there. Now remember that if you do use this recovery partition, it will wipe all your information and all your data off. So if you've got malware on the system, you just want to put Windows back, you can just use this method and it will put Windows straight back on but again, you will lose all your programs, all your data and everything. OK, so always keep regular backups uh, of all your data. Uh, but let me just show you what it looks like when we restart the system. So I'm going to restart. So we'll let this boot up. So here you can see I'm just going to click on Windows 10 recovery. And to restore from that, you would just go next. You can now install Windows. Now from here, you can say I don't have a product key. And then you can select the version that you've got that on your system that you want to install. In this case, we're going to do Pro. Click Next. accept the license agreement now from here as you can see here what you can do is a custom install and you can now see we have our three partitions you may have more uh, but the recovery partition is the one that you must keep because that's the one you're using to recover your system so if you wanted to uh, install uh, windows again uh, you would delete these top two partitions now you can install Windows over the top of Windows if you wish, um, if you want to do that. But if you want to do a nice fresh clean install of your operating system and remove all the malware and stuff like that, you can just delete this partition here, click OK, delete this one, click OK, and then you would install on this unallocated space. You can create a new partition if you wish. Or you can just click next and then this will start to install windows onto that partition just like so so there we have it guys that's back to normal we've installed windows 10 back on our system and uh, if you take a look here i'll quickly show you that the uh, recovery partition is still intact 
and it's still there and we've just reinstalled a fresh copy of Windows. So I hope this one helps you out guys, my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk If you enjoy these videos guys then hit the like button, also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date and be notified when I upload new videos. If you've got any problems with your computers or any video requests or anything like that um, then head over to the forums and join up over there, it's free to join, join the community. If you haven't joined my Facebook fan page then you can also go over there and join us up over there. It's just a simple click of a button and like my uh, fan page and that's it. Uh, anyway, so I shall see you again in the next video. Thanks again for watching and uh, thanks for the continued support. Bye for now.